A few weeks ago, we got our hands on Valve's official Steam Deck docking station. Straight out of the box, it felt every bit like a first party product. The material's the same as the Steam Deck's shell, everything feels lightweight, compact, and made specifically for the Steam Deck. Without a doubt, this dock feels like something I'd expect from Valve. But let me ask you this, would you pay $89 for this hunk of premium plastic. Even if you think your answer is yes, I think it'd be a bad idea to only look at this expensive dock when there are a ton more less expensive or more flexible devices on the market to choose from. So before you click on over to buy this, let's take a moment to see if it's right for you. USB-C docks are incredibly useful for expanding a Steam Deck's usability and projecting onto much larger displays. If the Steam Deck, as a handheld, is a spiritual successor of Valve's Steam machines, a docked Steam Deck with a Steam controller is a 2022 Steam machine outright. Except this time more broadly appealing, as long as you can find the space for it. Whether I use one for capturing footage or playing games on my couch, there's enough utility here that it's easy to recommend that all Steam Deck owners should probably consider having a dock on hand, even if only as a fancy charging stand. Is Valve's dock the one you should buy though? <sighs> I'm not exactly sold. At $89, it's fairly expensive, and there are so many other options, depending on your needs, that basically do the same things. When looking for options, the first thing to consider is if you actually need a dock. Instead, would a USB-C hub work just as well? The difference, for Steam Decks at least, is that docks are hubs with integrated stands and, typically, power supplies, whereas hubs are just breakout boxes to separate USB-C into its component power, data, and display components. They also have a greater range in prices, from professional-looking laptop hubs with a ton of ports to, uh, well, this simple adapter I got for maybe $15 a couple years ago. Honestly, if you only need a way to keep your Steam Deck charged, plug into an HDMI display, and maybe connect a Steam controller, you don't need much more than this. Given that it's just a generic adapter, it's also going to work for all of your USB-C devices that support display out. Heck, odds are, depending on the laptop you're using, you might even already have one of these lying around to combat manufacturers' campaigns to remove ports. The downside is that once you start looking for hubs with maybe an Ethernet port or a couple more USB 3.0 ports, the price advantages fade quickly. Plus, unless you plan to lay your Steam Deck flat on a table, use it as a controller, or invest in L-shaped adapters, the cables on these cheaper adapters might cause strain on your USB-C port over time. That could suck even more if you want to use your Steam Deck's display as a second monitor in desktop mode, which you might want to do if you ever want to keep tabs on a Discord chat look up maps or guides while playing, or even monitor OBS recordings. One way around this is to actually plan your hardware in advance. If you're looking to buy a new monitor, consider one with an integrated USB-C hub. For around $500, you can even grab something like uh, one of these 27-inch 1440p Dell monitors. A single cable charges and provides display out for the Steam Deck, and additional ports on the monitor add extra connectivity. I got an older version of this monitor a few years back, and it's been fantastic for both hooking up random consoles and working from home. For this price and resolution, you're obviously not going to get high refresh rates or HDR support, but it's a real solid workhorse that's struck a good balance between price and usability. Plus, standard definition 1440p60 feels like an easier bar for a Steam Deck to clear than something spec'd much higher. 
Okay, but let's say you don't have a USB-C monitor and aren't looking to upgrade. Additionally, you really want something with an integrated stand, a bunch of ports, and a USB-C cable that's not going to add extra strain to your system. Should you go with Valve's dock then? Um, I honestly still say no for most people. For example, here's Ivolair's upgraded dock. They sent this to us to use in our last video as a comparison point to the Nintendo Switch's dock, and I've gotten a ton of use out of it so far. Like Valve's dock, this one comes with three USB-A ports, a single USB-C port for charging, a gigabit Ethernet port, and an HDMI 2.0 port. If you're only looking to use the Steam Deck with a single external screen, I'd say this is really the one to beat. The aluminum build is very solid, and feels right at home on my desk. And the typical Valve-like USB-C connector feels perfect in its implementation here. I've really had no complaints with it so far. At $50, it still feels just a tad bit pricey, but you know, it's exactly the amount of ports and the type of dock most folks are likely to need if they plan to dock their Steam Deck. There are other options available from both Ivolair and other competitors that leave out one or two ports or maybe opt for something like a HDMI 1.4 connection instead of 2.0 for a reduced price. In many ways, the current market is like, here's the upper standard for docks with this specific form factor, and if it's too expensive, consider what you don't mind giving up to save a few dollars. And that works out pretty well in practice. If you need reliable ways to connect your Steam Deck to an external monitor, whether through a hub or dock, it's easily available in various different configurations to suit your needs and budget. My only caveat is that any dock you might consider picking up should support at least 45 watt charging. That's what the Steam Deck charges at, and as I've witnessed from reusing some of my Switch docks, performance can be pretty janky and run down your battery if you try to use something that supplies less wattage. If you want to get more usage out of the dock to use with your Switch, Samsung DeX, or even a laptop, the slightly more expensive 100 watt docks might also be better to provide some extra headroom. With all that in mind, who is Valve's dock actually for? It comes with 45 watt charging, an extra display port for dual screen setups, all the ports found on other cheaper docks, and a custom connector to fit the Steam Deck's case. All of this is nice, but not mind-blowing for the premium price. Simply put, the dock kind of seems like it's for folks who want Valve's branding, like the more compact design, or can make use of that extra DisplayPort connection. It feels like something squarely marketed at the intersection between Valve diehards and power users. If you feel like that's you, it's pretty much a perfect match. Don't let that make you think that the dock is all hype and no substance though. This dock is pretty great. I can't understate how much nicer the plastic valve went with here feels than other plastic docks I have lying around. Plus, the compact design fits pretty snugly into the back of the official Steam Deck case. As long as you don't mind the cable sticking out a bit, it's gonna be perfectly fine. Add in the firmware updates Valve's been adding to tweak the quality of the dock's performance, and this is a solid choice for anyone really dedicated to getting the most out of their Steam Deck. I could even see it being an easy add-on for folks without budget constraints who are just now ordering their Steam Decks or just don't want to shop around past the Steam store. But I'm not convinced most people need or should necessarily care about the small additions Valve's official dock makes over the competition. Other docks are already plenty portable, and only really lack that extra display port. For now at least. If folks just need a way to view their content on a different screen or hardwire their internet connection, it seems like paying $40 over other viable options seems a bit much as an accessory to a device that's best used handheld in the first place. But those are my thoughts. I'd love to know what y'all are thinking about Valve's new dock. 
Have you already purchased it and have feelings one way or the other about it? Do you have a different brand's dock that you swear by? Or are you currently in the market for a dock and are trying to figure out which one suits your needs best? Let me know down in the comments. There will also be links in the description for different product examples we mentioned in this video. Also, if you found this video helpful or informative, go ahead and click that like button to let me know. For more mobile video game tech, make sure to get subscribed so that you don't miss out on future videos. Like, uh, the analog pocket follow-up we have in the pipeline, which actually, that kind of reminds me, I still haven't gotten a dock from them yet either. But anyway, that's all from this video. Until next time, catch you later.